Hello friends, today is day 10 of our 21 days of pursuing Jesus. And today we make the commitment of starting a Daniel fast tomorrow. And also today we start to, to make the commitment of eating only two meals per day. Um, and it's a big deal. That's a big jump from the other things that we've been doing um, uh, on top of the thank you notes, on top of the, you know, the decrees and proclamations that you're forming together based on scripture that stands out to you. Um, I have gotten a few little pieces of hate mail here and there, a couple text messages saying that, that they're hangry um, and actually really good texts. And, you know, people saying this is really tough, Angel. Why would you make me do this? You know, but but they, but at the same time, they recognize, man, God is doing something in my life. And uh, and if you if God is doing something in your life, will you let us know, please? No, regardless how big or small it is, if, if man, if angels showed up and you started walking on water, let us know. Um, if you began to do something, you recognize something in scripture that you hadn't seen before, or God's beginning to reveal himself in scripture like he hasn't done before. And you see, you see little nuances that shift as you read the Bible or as you, as you listen to his word, whatever that might be. Let us know what those little changes are, those little transformations are. That's what this is all about is God is continually transforming and changing us. It says in Ephesians chapter 2 that you are God's masterpiece. You are his workmanship. That means that for the rest of your life, you are a beautiful piece of artwork that he's going to continue to work on until you're done. And so we're never, we're never done. So it's good for us to listen and lean in. And thus it's good for us to fast and to pray because as we do that, he's continually working in the, in our hearts in a way that it's going to, it's going to, we're going to reflect who Jesus is, uh, to the world around us. And we're going to have greater peace and greater joy. And we're going to walk out the purpose that God has given us. Uh, so, so can keep it up, guys. Don't let this be about legalism. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, if you, your body needs protein, you know what your body needs. Ask your doctors too if, um, as you walk this through this fast. Um, let, us know, let us know what you need help with in, in terms of the Daniel fast and preparation, that sort of thing. Uh, there's different handouts, different things that we can print off. There's all kinds of different resources online to, to, to navigate you through the Daniel fast. But again, as we do this, continue to allow God to change you and transform you. It's not, it's not about the fast. It's not about the, it's not about the, the mechanics of it. It's about you and I creating space so that God can continue to, to take away the things in our hearts that need to be taken away and, and to replace those things with, with who he is, his purpose, his joy, his peace, our identity in him. Uh, a lot of times we try to grow up for identity in other things and other places and other people. It's not that, it's not how it works. We're, we were created to worship God. So I encourage you to keep it up. If you want to keep sending me hate mail, um, it's okay. But I really want those, those stories, those things that, 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 that share how God is changing you and transforming you. All right, guys. Love you guys. Take care.